we bishops will always have the deepest regret for those, who's, who, for those who were abused and who must live with that pain and all of their lives. No apology can undo that. Yet we must never cease to remember them, reach out to them, and ask for their forgiveness. Well, first of all, um, the Holy Father's uh, solicitude and gesture of support is a sincere one. I think that what we bishops have to do in June is to figure out how and in what vein we might make use of his gesture. Uh, I think he extended his hand in support to the bishops of the United States. I think it is up to us to figure out exactly how we can use uh, that gesture of fraternal solidarity. And, uh, only two. Yes. Uh, the level of anxiety and anguish that the church in the United States is experiencing, this has touched him deeply. Go into the genesis, he, he, he wanted to know. I don't think there's anyone uh, present who understands the challenges that Cardinal Law faces uh, better than himself. He enjoys my prayers, best wishes, and I pray also for the Archdiocese of Boston. Um, that's the only response I can make. <laughs> Children are, are, are cared for with, with love and fidelity and, and gentleness of spirit in Catholic institutions. Um, a few, tragically, uh, have been harmed. But the overwhelming number of students are not only cared for well, they are encouraged to grow and to, to develop all of their God-given gifts. Catholic institutions are, are among, the safest pub, uh, among the safest institutions in either the private or the public sector. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.